Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemmy Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to use the shake feature in your applications. So already in this simulator, I have an example of what we will be creating today. We're simply going to shake our device and it's going to perform a simple task or action. Now in this simulator here, if we go into hardware, where we have little gestures we can do like rotating the device left or right, and we have the shake gesture here, so this will simulate the simulator being shaken. So as soon as we press that, it's performed a little action and where our label has displayed some text that simply stating the app is shaken. So I'll be showing you how to use the shake feature today. So already in my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it shaking the app for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is add the outlet for our label. That's the only outlet we're going to be needing. So if we just go into our view controller.h and then just after the, the UI view controller, do bracket and press enter. I'll zoom in for you now. And we start by typing IB outlet space UI label space asterisk and I'll simply name the label label. So it's really easy to understand when we come to the coding. So we can save that and I'll zoom out now. And then we go straight to our view controller.m. And just after the implementation, I'll press enter a few times so we've got a fair bit of room and we can clearly see what we're typing out. So again, I'll zoom in for you. The first thing we need to do is add in our first responder. So we just simply do dash bracket boom bracket can be gone can become first responder, space bracket, and then press enter. And then we need to return it, and in the expression we do simply yes, and then have a semicolon and save. I zoom out now, as we need to find the two statements for the view did appear, and the view did disappear. So just here, the view did appear. We need to type in bracket self space and the first one we need to become first responder for when the view appears and have a bracket and a semicolon we can simply copy that and then our view will disappear just paste that in we change the become first responder to resign first responder so we save that and I'll zoom out and we go back up to the top and we'll zoom back in and then just after our ball can become first responder. We need to create our void statement for when our motion begins or, or when we shake the app basically. So we do dash bracket void bracket motion begin. And we add in this statement here for the UI event subtype motion with event and then UI event event. And we do space bracket and press enter. I'll press enter again a few more times so you can clearly see what we're typing out. So basically we need to type in an if statement now. So for if the device is shaking or the motion has begun basically, it's going to perform a certain task. So if bracket bracket event dot subtype space equals equals space UI event subtype motion shake and after that after the um, bracket there we do space another bracket and press enter so once the event has begun in the motion shape we want our label dot text space equal space to set the text to something simple as like an iPhone simulator we can put the app is shaking. So simply once we shake our device the label will display this text here. Now where I'm simply this writing the code out for this line of our label here by adding your own action such as switching a view or maybe playing a sound simply that's just simply where you type it out just here. So you can change the action here for, for when you shake your device to do anything you simply want. 
So when we've done that, we end that with a semicolon. Then we save that. Now the next thing we need to do is go into our interface builder. We need to add our label and link up the connection. So we just simply drag in a label. We make it fairly big so we can have enough room to display all the text. I'll center the text and increase the text size. Now just like in the iPhone simulator, it initially has no text to, to display, so I'll just get rid of the text. Then click on Files Owner, and then link up the label connection to our label. And then once that's done, make sure it's selected on the iPhone simulator, and go straight to Build and Run, where we can test it out, make sure it works. Now once it's loaded, we click on our hardware button at the top here, and we go down to Shake Jester. This will simulate the shake in our simulator. And then once we shake the app, the label will display the app is shaken. So that's simply how you create and use the shake feature in your applications. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. And remember, you can do any action to simply change the action where I showed you how to add text to a label to something simple like playing a sound or displaying an image or switching views, anything you like can simply be added. So again, I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and if you'd like to leave us any feedback or if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself, simply send us a message or leave us a comment. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea, head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see, or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others. Please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklem.com. And check out all our apps by simply searching Geek Lemon on the App Store.